Hello everyone and welcome to the episode 12 of my mobile networks overview course in episode 10 and uh, 11 I talked about call control protocols and I introduce uh, uh, ISOP and BICC in brief to you in this episode uh, I wanna tell you something about SIP which is very popular uh, especially in uh, IMS IP multimedia subsystem okay let's go through it SIP or session initiation protocol uh, was firstly originated in MBOM project multicast backbone in 1996 uh, and it was defined by IETF Internet Engineering Task Force uh, in, two, in July 2002 the SIP was defined in new RFC request for comment and uh, right now it is widely used okay uh, so what is SIP and then uh, after defining the SIP we will go through the uh, its protocol stack as I told to you SIP is stand for session initiation protocol it is a protocol for setting up controlling and tearing down the sessions okay not just for voice it also can include text video voice and etc and this is and this is one of the uh, very good advantage of this uh, protocol and because of this this is widely used and very popular right now uh, sip is one of the internet protocol it's text based like http and many of these uh, its cause reasons uh, is like http for example 404 means not found on and something uh, uh, like that uh, that I will show you later it is a protocol based on request reply and widely widely used for successful internet and can be based on uh, these transport protocol protocols TCP UDP TCP SCTP most of them uh, are now on UDP but uh, also I, uh, um, uh, I tell to you that uh, it depends on the uh, idea of the planner and we cannot tell that which of them is better uh, okay we see um, for this for this uh, uh, for example voice uh, we have two uh, or I can say voice or audio or video or something else that that is based on SIP, we can uh, make it in two parts. We can separate it in two parts, data plane and control plane. For example, for SIP, you can see SIP can be based on TCP, UDP, or TCP, TCP, UDP, or SCTP, which is not here. Uh, we have call control part here, call control, and one session description protocol. Session description protocol, is uh, is a session based on SIP that I will show you some uh, real uh, SDP um, packet in the next episode on Wireshark from the live network uh, but uh, it is a, a subsession in SIP which is uh, designed for uh, session management you can see the audio, the codec information, the IP information, and uh, um, audio detail information here, audio and video internet, uh, audio and video detailed information, okay? Uh, so this is a sub layer in SIP, and, in, and it contains the session information. Uh, uh, we have another protocol RTP RTP is used for the data plane in SIP we will handle the control plane for user two user for example two MSC wanna to talk together first they will negotiate together then after all things goes well in the data plane or in user plane part uh, handling the um, voice and sending the voice packet is done in media gate phase through RTP so here we have SIP for control plane and here we have RTP for user plane you can see 
so you can see that RTP is always based on UDP because uh, here uh, reliability is not uh, important for us we just want to send uh, in a real time and as you know for real time applications mostly use UDP as transport protocol okay so for media transmission voice video and etc and uh, we have also RTCP real time transmission control protocol for uh, report and adjust the media transmission okay uh, one more thing one more thing um, we have some types of message for SIP uh, some requests here and we, I will show you also the response in the next episode uh, I will uh, tell a brief explanation on this and in the next video I will go through a, a real SIP message and I on Wireshark and I will show you the details but let me introduce some of this to you uh, as I told before, uh, uh, SIP is uh, very likely to our language, uh, human language. For example, it uses invite for initiate a session, ACK, to response of invite cancel to cancel a session, buy to terminate a session, register to register a server, options for querying, uh, for querying servers about their capabilities. We have some extended requests and that uh, they are uh, uh, less used in uh, in comparison with uh, this in comparison to these basic requests these basic requests are widely used but these are uh, uh, the application are less than this uh, okay we have message is applied to instant messaging subscriber to subscriber to uh, notify event notify to send and notify event update to modify a session attribute at the establishment stage of the call publish to distribute is even the state of the call prereq or provisional ag it's important message provisional ag it's uh, it is used to indicate the reliability of temporary response uh, we have some uh, temporary response okay uh, like for example ringing or trying they don't need an ACK so we can use a prac we can configure the network to use the prac to send as a response to to increase the reliability of reliability of the network okay uh, is optional but it's good for increasing the reliability here we see we can see some responses for example one like 100 invite is provisional request received continuing the process to a request okay or for example 180 is trying 183 and so on ringing okay uh, two uh, xx like 200 for success for example 200 is for okay success the action was successfully received understood and accepted 3xx means redirection the, uh, i in my i myself didn't see it in the real scenarios where, but maybe you can see i didn't see it further actions need to be taken in order to complete the request 4xx means client error i see this uh, many times uh, also you can, uh, for example as i told in the fir uh, in the uh, first minutes of the session for example 404 means not found or uh, 401 not authorized like http uh, client error the request contains a bad syntax or cannot be fulfilled at the server for example you call may when you call a wrong number or uh, in ims author authentication and I, I will show you later uh, first in the first uh, registration it will send 401 unauthorized it means that uh, uh, at the first step uh, also subscribers should authorize the network and 
so on. 5xx means server error. The server failed to fulfill an apparently valid request. I also didn't see this before in real, real networks. And 6xx uh, means a global failure. The request cannot be fulfilled at any server. Okay. I think this is enough for this session. And I in the next session, I will go through a... I will go through uh, real uh, some real network scenarios and some uh, Wireshark packets. Okay, I hope this uh, it would be useful and informative for you. And hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.